on Arrows Online here, we're already looking for another trainer, I forgot to hit record, and we're going to cycle through the music until we find a battler. And we're stuck on 18, so... Taro, Kotaro Tech from Japan, 1605, exactly the same rating as me, bringing a rain team. Oh boy. Oh ho 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 boy. That's rain and a half. The thing is, I might have to bring Heatran because he's got um, the Therophorn, and if the Therophorn comes and I don't bring Heatran, I lose. That is a that is very a very good strategy. Bring a rain team and then a Pokemon that is like twice weak to fire, but the rest of your team destroys it anyway, so it doesn't even matter that it's weak to fire. And they have no fighting types. That's something I might have to uh, remedy for next week. So what am I going to want to lead with? He's going to lead with the lander with the thunderous. He really is. There's no way he's not. I, I want to get up my Tailwind, but if he leaves with the Thunderous, that's not happening. I might be able to get late Tailwind up, but even that's a stretch. Mammoth Swine and Amoongus. That's a bad lead, though. Bishop, Amoongus. Heatran. God of War? I really have to, you know, test this. I've, I've tested this team a lot, and I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just not sure if I've built it to be able to deal with a lot of the threats. I need a fighting type, so maybe I should run Terrakian. Or then maybe, I'll have to have a look at the other good fighting types that um, might better stand a chance. Thunderous and Politoed, that's what I predicted. Cool. Rage Powder, Knock Off, Thunderous. I've got to, I've got to play quick. I've got to do like I did in the last uh, battle or the last episode. Play quick. Nice and taunt. Was predicting that, but that doesn't matter. I got off a Knock Off. It lives. As he did score, probably my Bishop slot. Oh yeah, I'm taunted. Um, he's just going to score again, isn't he? I'm sucker punching the body toad. I have nothing I want to. Sw oh, that's bulky. I have nothing I want to switch in on any citrus. I have nothing I would like to switch in on a scald. So I've got to just stay in. Thunder wave can't burn me at least. Really wishing I brought the mammo now. Oh, that wasn't even a crit. I forgot. Yeah, rain boosts water type damage. <clears throat> okay. Bring in Gardevoir. You know what? I shouldn't. I should have attacked the Thunderous. I really should have. I don't think I can kill it with a Giga Drain. We'll try. We'll try and kill it with the Giga Drains. We Mega Protect. It's tough. It's a tough one. I do have a problem against rain teams. So I think the next team I construct will have to have a way to properly deal with them, either Taunters, uh, probably Electric types. Electric is a much more offensive um, type than Grass is, so next team will probably carry an Electric type, powerful one. 
Or maybe I'll just bring a rain team next week. Who knows? I used to have a rain team. You guys might remember. Um, a viewer bred me a Gyarados, and I used it in a rain team. But then my Pokemon X broke, so I ended up losing everything. So um, I, I, I never got around to rebreeding it. There's a Thunder Wave. Ice Beam. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Please kill. Yes! Oh, I don't know if that crit mattered. It probably did, but thank you. Oh, oh, oh boy. <clears throat> Kingdra! You are Swift Swim. There is no way you are not Swift Swim. Can't protect. Bring in the Heatran! I know that's crazy. I'm bringing it in anyway. Because uh, I don't, I can't risk a double Ice Beam onto my Amoongus. And that, would, to be, I'm assuming he's got the um, Swamper. Muddy Water. Please don't lower my accuracy. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy! Sacks my um, Heatran there, but my Moogus gets to come back in. I'm not Regenerator. It would help if I was, but because I built this as a Kangaskhan counter, it has effects for. Yep, there's the Swamper. Hey, he's probably going to want to protect the first turn. If he doesn't, then I've just made a horrible misplay. He didn't protect. Ice Punch! Ooh, I think I can live that. I can. No! Oh, no! Oh, wow. I find first turn fours to be quite mean, because the other player's like, yes! 10% chance! And I got it! And then he wakes up first turn and they're just like, ah. Oh. Good game to my opponent. That was, um. Oh! I had words. There are no words for that. That was intense. He really had me on the ropes. I guess that's a phrase I can use there. We're gonna go and get in one more battle for you guys. Let's continue battling. Battle box. Challenge. 1621. So we didn't hit our goal of 1700 this week. Uh, we just kept bouncing between 1500 and 1600. But at least I'm above 1600 right now. And I, at least I'm above 1400. As we face against someone with a 1609 rating from South Korea. Uh, the South Koreans are definitely um, uh, pretty much as dangerous as the Japanese players. They make some crazy moves sometimes. Okay, Mega Mints, Spore Loom, Thunder Wave Bird, uh, Air Slash Bird, he uh, Heatran, and Cresselia. I want to lead Mamo Swine Gardevoir. I really, really, really do, because if he leads Bloom, I can just kill that turn one. And really, what can Mamo Swine... What, what will stop Mamo Swine? Out of why Mamo. Bishop. And a Moongus, maybe? No. No, 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 no. Maybe. No. He ran. Let's just do it. Just do it. We didn't change the music. Oh well. Is this going to be a mistake? 
Oh boy. Okay. Not as bad as I uh, thought it might be. As I actually trace Serene Grace. We don't know actually me, but you know, it's cool. Hyper Voice. He might just Mac punch me here. Oh boy. That's a good position. That's a horrible position to be in. I'm gonna rock slide. He's staying. I really don't think he's gonna spore. I really don't. He's got two Pokemon faster than Bloom. Yeah, I just went for two um, two spread moves. As he does go for the Mac Punch, not the spore. Uh, that doesn't even take me down to my sash. And there's his sash. What avoided? What double avoid? No! No, that isn't okay. That is not okay. Oh, and everything I have to switch into is weak to fighting. That was not okay. Double miss. There's, there's a, about a about 1% chance of that happening. I am going to Ice Shard the Balloon. I might? Yeah, I'm going to Ice Shard the Balloon. And if he wants to follow me, he can. He's faster. Is he, is he scarfed? Scarfed Mac Punch. Is that what I'm facing here? Wow. And he says about Tailwind. Toby just gets Tailwind? Notes taken. Notes definitely taken. Nice and defiant. I'm iron heading the Ments. If he wants to follow me, he can. But I'm iron heading it. So I will at least get some damage. Because obviously I can't sucker punch it. Because if he does follow me, sucker punch fails. Because um, he will move before my Bisharp. I'm assuming he'd want to attack my Gardevoir, which is why I'm protecting here. Earthquake. Will that kill Bisharp? No. And he air slashed. Ooh. That term worked out pretty well for me, I think. Glad I didn't bring in uh, Heatran to take a no uh, flying or normal type bit there, otherwise I would have just died. I would have been deader than dead. There's the follow me, so he's not attacking with that slot, which means... God of Wine needs to live an earthquake! Come on, Petunia. If, if, a, if a shop can live it, you can live it. Beautiful. Oh, boy. And we bring in the Heatran. And it's against Zapdos. That's his last Pokemon. <clears throat> Tailwind is still up, so I'm actually going to protect on Gardevoir and set up a sub on Heatran. I really think he's going to want to kill the Gardevoir. To me, that, that would be... The, if I was him, the Gardevoir would be the bigger threat right now. Ah. Well, at least I get on my sub. And 
there goes the tailwind. Thunderbolt on to Guard of Wire. Barely living. Barely. Wow. Oh, the avoid. Oh, the avoid. Stop avoiding. Well, there's no point in protecting. I'm just hyper voicing again. There was no point. Because if I protected, then he attacked the Heatran, I'd lose my sub, and then he'd be able to just kill Guard of Wire the next turn because she's slow, apparently. This might be a scarfed, um, yeah, a scarf Zapdos. Well, guys, those are the two battles. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoy less battles per video, if you enjoy just like two battles, please let me know. If you preferred the three battles, let me know. And we will, I'll see what I can do next week. So guys, I really do apologize about there being no singles um, battle spot this week. I also apologize for how salty the week started. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my singles ready battle spot series because I do complain a lot. I know, I'm a complainer. That's just the kind of person I am. So I need to know if I should just bring an overpowered as hell team to reduce the complaining or if I should continue to bring in the underused Pokemon and have fun. Remember, fun is a thing, and I keep forgetting that. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you don't already, please follow me on Twitter. You can add a twi twi yeah, I guess Twitter, but also Twitch. Because you can battle me on Twitch. I do viewer battles every day, Monday to Friday, 2.30pm to 7.30pm uh, GMT London time. And once we're done, I actually pass you guys on to a friend of mine who also does viewer battles. Although he does single battles, not doubles. And he streams from 2.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it works out very well. Anyway, I will let you guys go now. You've probably already left the video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on Monday.